Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings. So if you are after one, I do have those links down below in the description box. And also some of you may have heard I've had a rough couple of days. I'm definitely on the mend, but I do truly appreciate your patience and your understanding with me. For readings at this time all right so let's go ahead and get started let's see what clear messages advice and guidance come through for my dearest capricorns for their highest and greatest good clear messages advice and guidance for my capricorns please oh all right so we have the three of cups beautiful this can be an energy of reunion but it also is just like a fun energy being out with friends flirting dating putting yourself out there. Um, so it could be somebody in your friend group who is coming your way or is going to express feelings, but let's see. They're definitely, the, whoever this is, is around you. They're in your community. All right, they're, oh, it's gonna surprise you, Capricorn. They're viewing you of the nave of chalices, but they're not so sure that you're ready for this offer. Maybe some of you, they know that you're like having fun, dating, being single, because I do feel like this could be a friend that wants to be more, somebody who's definitely checking you out, trying to get as much intel about you Capricorn as possible. They also might not be fully trusting you in some way. Now don't take that personally. It's not like they see you as deceptive, but it could also be that this person is just a little bit insecure, maybe something they've been through, betrayal in the past or something along those lines. So let's see, what are their true intentions towards you? What are their true intentions towards my Capricorns? All right, we get the Nine of Cups in reverse. Ooh, okay. And we get Justice card. Some of you, this person's feeling emotionally drained. I can't, You know what I'm getting? I'm getting the image of somebody who's watching my Capricorns out there date and maybe date and have like disappointments and they haven't worked up the courage yet to ask you out or to tell you how how they feel and so i feel like they're starting to become emotionally drained because they're like okay the time is now you know i don't want to see capricorn going on any more dates or any disappointments and, and maybe they're a little bit triggered by that that you have other options and things like that we do get the sun card leo energy i think this person's going to make you very happy and for some of you i do feel like they're a little bit worried about messing up the vibe that you have so if it's somebody that you're casually seeing they definitely want more if it's a friend they definitely want more it's like you make this person so happy they're already around you all right they're already around you the three of cups tells me that it's always a good time when you two are together you might have mutual friends in common or they're in your community walking away for a new beginning. Yeah, some of for some of my Capricorns, again, this person is like waiting for you to walk away from. I don't know if it's like a I don't know if it's like a um, an era that you're in um, or they're waiting for you to walk away from maybe just like dating. I don't know if you're like on the apps a lot, Capricorn, or they've seen you like going out with different people. Like it feels like this is a friend and they're kind of like, maybe they know that you're healing from a connection or maybe you're self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette and they're just kind of like waiting for the right time or waiting to feel out when you might be ready for something new, something different. I feel like this is gonna happen when you least expect it. I also feel like this person's feelings are gonna shock you. Um, I feel like this person's a real powerhouse here with the tower card. We get this nine of cups energy in reverse. They're definitely feeling emotionally drained. Yeah, this person's bored of dating. This person's bored of watching you date other people and like not speaking up. But I feel like there's a timing issue. Like this person might know that you, like when they haven't reached out or told you anything yet, Capricorn, because they might feel like you haven't been ready or that it wouldn't have worked. Um, so the, the knave of chalices in reverse, yeah, it's like they, they almost see that you're not quite ready for a relationship or maybe you even told them that, but they see you as their happiness. They see you as their marriage partner, the death card in reverse. This person, this person's been loving you for a long time is what I'm getting. Now, for some of you, obviously it could be somebody you've walked away from. It could be an ex, but I'm not reading that. I more so read it as this is somebody who's around you. Who's a lot of fun. They've had it out. They've had it 
I want to say in for you, <laughs> but they haven't had it out for you. They've they've had it bad for you for a while, but this person knows you Capricorn. They know you very well is what I'm getting. And they know that like if they act too soon or right now even that they might not be successful or it could kind of mess up your relationship is what I'm getting. That's their biggest fear. But this person, they don't want nine of cups energy. Nine of cups in a relationship reading, I mean, it can be a beautiful energy depending on the other cards around it. But the nine of cups can be also like, just like flirting, dating, hooking up, you know, but nothing more. This person wants something solid. This person wants something solid with you. And yeah, the sun card, they have hidden feelings and they're worried about missing an opportunity. That's why they haven't spoken up yet or they haven't acted yet. The Libra card justice tells me this could be a Libra, but I think there's a decision here being made. I'm also seeing that this could be a twin flame. The three of swords, there's heartbreak and disappointment. Yeah, this person might be waiting for you to heal. Uh, again, they probably know your story, Capricorn. If you were in like a really bad relationship or you were in a long-term relationship, this person knows that and they know that maybe you weren't quite ready. They did not, they do not want to be a rebound. This is a blessing in love. This is going to bring you a lot of happiness, Capricorn. This person is trying to make sure that they're not a rebound relationship and I feel like they're going the friend's first route. And for some of you, they have been your friend for a really long time or maybe coworker or something like that. You know, to be honest, I think this person's smart if that's how they're reading the situation and they're right about it. The signs that are coming through really, really strong. We have Scorpio coming through really strong as well as Aries and Leo and Libra. Yeah. And I do feel like this person also realizes if they don't take action sometime soon though, and they just bury their head in the sand, they're gonna be they're gonna end up heartbroken. Like you're gonna be the one that got away, or you're always gonna be the one there, right? So let's see, we've got, okay, this person has integrity. I, I believe it. I like this person's energy a lot. And they're not who you think, tower energy. This person is, I, you know, if you just see this person as a friend, just wait. They're good. You know, I'm just getting like, you know, really good physical connection here. And their feelings for you run so much deeper than you realize. They could be the life of the party and you might feel like they're not interested in you. Wrong, right? And we get maybe they're a single parent. Maybe you are. All right, let's see. What does this person want my Capricorns to know? What does this person want my Capricorns to know? What does this person want my Capricorns to know? Back and forth. I'm conflicted. It's nothing you've imposed on me. I need to figure this out for myself. Yeah, they go back and forth about whether or not now is the right time for you guys or for them to reach out. Deep down, they're opening myself, they're opening themselves up to love. They want you to hold their tender heart in the palm of their hands and accept you for who I am. Oh my God, this person's a diehard romantic Capricorn. Get ready. And I'm more myself than I have ever have been thanks to you. So you've probably helped this person as well in more, more ways than one. And yeah, and, and for some of you, they, they've helped you in healing. You've helped them in healing. It feels like you guys are friends already. Your words, your demeanor, and the way you have extended forgiveness and grace has helped me more than you know. Yeah, maybe you've helped this person through a hard time. And for a lot of my Capricorns, they've, they are or they have helped you through a hard time. I feel like this person makes you laugh. I feel like this person, you know, when you two are together, it feels like you goof off together or you just really get each other. Really, really good connection here. What a beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. It's like, it feels like a perfect match. Everybody else around you probably sees it too. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like when you get together with this person, everyone's like, yeah, duh, of course. You guys are amazing together. All right, Spirit saying, only time will tell. Yeah, because this person, they're worried about heartbreak. And if they bury their head in the sand, they know that you're gonna be the one that got away. And we do see sacred union. So honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. And I also feel that's a big sort of obstacle for this person because I feel like they treasure your friendship, Capricorn, more than you know. And I think they're really, really afraid of messing that up. But mm, I don't know. I, I think it's going to happen though. All right. So I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light Capricorns, take care.